Hello you three, we're now going to continue our learning on the Iron Age. Make sure you've got your pen and pencil ready. And remember, you can pause the video at any point you need to in order to make your notes or check through what you've written. We'll begin the lesson like we normally would in class, with a knowing more and remembering more. We're going to be thinking about our previous learning. Number one, hill forts were built by rivers and lakes. Do you think that's true or false? Number two, which of the sites below are Iron Age hill forts? Scarabray, Maiden Castle, Lynn Four, or Danebury? Number three, what is a rampart? And number four, list two pieces of evidence archaeologists use to indicate conflict. Now you may pause the video in order to check you that you're happy with your answers. And now we're going to mark them. Now remember to make your corrections if you need to. So number one, hill forts were built by rivers and lakes. That's false, they were built high on hills. Number two, which of the sites below are Iron Age hill forts? That's Maiden Castle and Danebury. And we looked at those last week. What is a rampart? It's a large earth wall and ditch. And number four, there's two pieces of evidence archeologists use to indicate conflict. Remember conflict battle. Mass burials, you could have had weapons, damaged skulls, ramparts. So now this lesson, we're going to be really thinking about what Iron Age life was like. So words that you know, my turn, your turn, archaeologist, Iron Age, roundhouse. Words that you'll meet in this lesson, weaving, loom, tribe, status. Now you might be looking at the words that we're going to look at in this lesson and be thinking, actually, I have come across these before because you're right. When we looked at the Bronze Age, we did start to look at weaving and using a loom. In a moment, you're going to watch a short video on Glastonbury Lake Village in Somerset, England. Usually wood rots away and cannot be found by archeologists, but because of the wet marshy soil, the wooden timbers and other materials survived and were excavated by archeologists. Now, if for any reason you have a problem on the next slide with the video playing, the link is here.
obviously the landowners, the local landowners, the Glastonbury Antiquarian Society, have been printing this, um, this chart for public investigation and for scientific research. Now we're really going to think about what the village might have looked like. We know post holes where the timbers of roundhouses were placed in the ground were found. We know a log boat and pots and bowls for cooking were found. These are all indicators as to what life might have been like living in an Iron Age village. Now remember to write your answers to the questions in your exercise book as you go along, so you can pause the video as you need to. So looking carefully at the picture, what do you notice about the houses in the village? Think carefully, what do you notice about how the house is made? You can bullet point your answers for this. This is a modern picture, so it's an artist interpretation of the inside of an Iron Age house. What can you learn about Iron Age houses from this modern picture? Again, pause and note your answers. Looking really carefully about what's inside, but also what the people are doing. Now, Iron Age houses, so the round houses, didn't have chimneys as the smoke dispersed through the thatched roof. In the centre of the house there would have been a fire used for cooking and as a source of heat and light. Well, now we're going to watch another video that gives us a little bit more information of life in the Iron Age. Now again the link has been provided so if you do have any problem with watching the video on the, you may go to the link. Whilst grains and vegetables were growing on the farm, herbs like marjoram were made to the wild. And dried herbs and We know this because we have found marjoram in the farm and corals in the woods. And they find this needed to make the plants to grow quick because they don't want to be sensitive to the living. Thank you. 
Once so now you're going to start to reflect on what you've just found out. So you're now going to become an archaeologist and you've excavated a number of these small stone artifacts from an iron village. What are they? To look carefully at the pictures, if you need to, you can always go back to the video and think about the clue that you've been given as they're connected to clothing. Remember, you can pause the video in order to make a note of your answers. So, each Iron Age community would make their own clothes of wool and linen, but Iron Age cloth was also traded. It was a long and hard task. And here you've got the images of the loom. Now, what can you learn about Iron Age village life from this representation? Now the link has been provided where you'll find some more information about Iron Age village life that, so you can go to that to find out some more. Look carefully at the boating, stealing of cattle, the war trumpet, the blacksmith, the priests, the hillfolk, farming. Remember to be making a note of your answers. So your independent task, and you're going to need all of your notes that you've made today in order to complete this. You're going to describe and explain life in the Iron Age. Thinking about what was the same and what was different between Iron Age villages and hill forts. So if you need to, you can always go back to last week's video to help you. What would life have been like in each settlement? Now. You've got some thinking prompts here, so some questions that you can use to, to help you answer the question of what life was like in the Iron Age. What can you see happening in the pictures? What work would Iron Age people do? How are the houses built? Who would live in the roundhouses? What defences are in each settlement? So how were they protecting themselves? What do people wear? How do they get their clothes? And there's also a word bank provided. A settlement, hill fault, weaving, loom, blacksmith, farming and a roundhouse.